Welcome to the 11th grade chemistry class. Today we'll be learning about classifying elements. What can you learn about each element from the periodic table? An ID contains information specific to a particular person, such as the person's name, address, height, eye color, and weight. What information can be displayed in the periodic table? The periodic table usually displays the, element, the symbols and names of the elements along with information about the structure of their atoms. This figure shows one square from a detailed periodic table of the elements. In the center is the symbol for aluminum, Al. The atomic number for aluminum, 13, is above the symbol. The element's name and atomic mass are below the symbol. There's also a vertical column with the numbers 2, 8, and 3, which indicate the number of electrons in each occupied energy level of an aluminum electron. The symbol for aluminum is printed in black because aluminum is a solid at room temperature. The symbols for gases are in red. The symbols for t the two elements that are liquids at room temperature, mercury and bromine, are in blue. The symbol for some elements are in gray. These elements are not found in nature. The electrons play a key role in determining the properties of elements, so there should be a connection between an element's electron configuration and its location in the periodic table. Helium, neon, and argon are examples of noble gases, the elements in group 8A of the periodic table. These, no, these nonmetals are sometimes called the inert gases because they rarely take part in, react, in a reaction. The noble gases, neon and argon, produce the colors in this sign. What can you learn about each element from the periodic table? You can learn an element's name, its symbol, its atomic number, its atomic mass, and the number of electrons in each energy level, also known as its electron configuration. The periodic table usually displays the symbols and names of elements along with information about the structure of their atoms. Elements can be sorted into noble gases, representative elements, transition metals, or inner transition metals, ETC. Alkali metals are any metal in group 1A of the periodic table. Alkali earth metals are any metal in group 2A of the periodic table. Halogen are nonmetals in group 7A of the periodic table. Noble gases are, el are elements in group A4, 8, 8A of the periodic table. The symbol, the S and the P sublevels of the highest occupied spaces are filled. Representative element is an element in an A group in the periodic table. As a group, these elements display a wide range of physical and chemical properties. In their atoms, the S and P sublevels and the highest occupied energy levels are partially filled. Transition metal is one group of one of the group B elements in which the highest occupied S sublevel ETC. Inner transition metals are an element in the lanthyl or acinide series, the highest occupied S, S sublevels and nearby F sublevels of an of its atom generally contain electrons, also called inner transition elements. Periodic tables may contain each element's name, symbol, atomic number, atomic mass, and number of electrons in each energy level. The electron configuration of an element can be determined, determined based on the location of an element on the periodic table. The end of 6.2.